In this lesson, we are going to examine the drawing environment. On the screen, you will see I am still in the part environment. In fact, I have a part open on the screen called angle bracket. So how do we get into the assembly environment? Well, there's a few different options you have. The first option is a screen that we were just at. You select new, the dialog box for new SOLIDWORKS document opens, and you can select drawing from this dialog box. Another option is to select the arrow next to the new icon and then select make drawing from part or assembly. And another option is to select the file drop down menu and then make drawing from part. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here and I receive a SOLIDWORKS message. There is a drawing file with the same name as the model. Do you want to open this file? What it's basically asking me is, I have a drawing already created for this angle bracket, and it wants to know if I want to open it. I don't. I want to show you what it looks like to open a brand new drawing. So I am going to select no, and we'll come back to this completed drawing later in the lesson. So when you go to create a new drawing, this should be the dialog box that you will see. It's a sheet format size dialog box. In this dialog box, you will either select one of the standard sheet formats or browse for your own format. Either way, after we complete this, you will see a sheet format on your screen. I am going to select A3 ANC Landscape. I'll then select OK. And I'm going to click one time on the screen to close down the view palette. And now we see the sheet format, the A3 format. Now, let's take a look at the drawing environment. In the upper left hand corner of the screen, you will see we have a couple new tabs. View layout. This is where we insert our views into the drawing sheet and create other type of views. Notice auxiliary views, section views, broken out views, and alternate position views. We also have another new tab called annotation. And this opens up a window with smart dimensions, model items, you can auto balloon, add weld symbols, GDT symbols, and center lines. You can also add different types of tables to your drawing sheet. So, those are two new tabs in the drawing environment. We do see some tabs that we recognize the sketch tab and the evaluate tab. On the left hand side of your screen, we have a feature manager tree. Now let's open up that finished drawing that I talked about earlier in the lesson. Here's the finished drawing for the angle bracket. And now take a look at the feature manager tree. You see all of the views. Just like the part and assembly environment, we can make changes to those views from the feature manager tree. We can also make changes to those views from the graphics area. Now before we leave this lesson, we need to talk about two different modes that you can be in when you are in the drawing environment. You can be in the edit sheet mode or edit sheet format mode. We are currently in the edit sheet mode. I know that because I see views on the sheet and I also see down in the status bar, it says editing sheet. This is the mode where you add views and dimensions and notes. This is the mode that we are in at this time. Now let's go into edit sheet format mode. I'm going to go over to my feature manager tree, right mouse click on sheet one and select edit sheet format. The views disappear. And in this edit sheet format mode, I now have access to the title block and I can make changes and additions to the title block. Now, when we are ready to exit the edit sheet format mode, we simply go back to the feature manager tree, right mouse click and select edit sheet and the views return and we're back in the mode of adding views, dimensions and notes to the sheet format. Another way to switch between the two modes is to right mouse click in the sheet area. Notice we have edit sheet format. When I'm done, I right mouse click and edit sheet.